welcome to my channel on the menu today is coconut clusters I oh it's my new favorite thing I found well not found but I looked up multiple recipes and they had lots of um, other ingredients in to create these things and I was like no I don't want to have to have like thickeners and other flavorings I just want it to be simple and so I got some dark chocolate and two types of coconut of shredded coconut and then coconut flakes and that is it it is so delicious and even my husband eats them even though they're dark chocolate it is definitely my new favorite thing and when i think of like a dessertified kind of thing this is where i'm going to at the moment i love coconut both my husband and i absolutely love coconut and so it's uh like two home run winner for us in this household chocolate for me coconut for me and he loves coconut chocolate as well i think there's something called an almond joy or a mounds bar that he likes um and so this is my version of coconut and chocolate and i know that there are other recipes out there that involve putting egg and that kind of thing and it creates a more denser chewy bar but i was just looking for total simplicity in the simplest ingredients possible so Here's my coconut clusters. Step one, break up my chocolate into my trusty Pyrex jug. Oh dear, there's always some kind of emergency and my trusty helper helps me fix it quickly. I'm creating a double boiler effect, just not on the stove. I've got some boiling water in the bottom bowl and the jug fits in perfectly. And you just allow it to sit and melt using the heat of the water inside the bowl. And you help it along stirring it. I'm going to prepare my pan with the cupcake holders, more stirring, you just patient. And then it needs a second batch of boiling water. Once it's done, you're going to add your swerve. I add two teaspoons. Time for coconut. One cup of coconut flakes, two cups of shredded coconut, and then you stir. You got to be a little patient to coat everything in the chocolate and now it's ready to put into the little cupcake holders my marker here is two tablespoons per little cupcake holder and then once you're done it's going to go into the freezer and i like to set a timer it is 15 minutes and you have a delicious treat you can store them in an airtight container in the fridge. It won't stay in the fridge for too long because they're so delicious they'll be gone in the blink of an eye. I store them in little lunch bags so that I can pack them for a treat when I'm packing lunch in the morning. 